Hello everybody! Today I am back with Francesca and Fanula and um, we are gonna dye my hair. It's like half ten on a Sunday night at uni and um, in the midst of coronavirus season we decided it would be a good idea to dye my hair. Um, you live once, you know how it be. Well, I've been a bit fed up with my hair for a while, so we're going to try to dye it, but we don't entirely know. None of we're... us have um, professional experience in hair dyeing, so... No, but oh, it, you yeah. have seen my... Um, you might have seen my henna hair dye video from a couple of years ago. Now, the thing is, this hair dye I'm using is not curly girl friendly. And I have been following the curly girl method, but we're just going to do everything we can to protect my hair. Like, not use any of, like, the nasties in there as far as possible. The nasties? Well, like, the conditioner looks kind of dodgy. <laughs> so, also... we're just going to use, like, um, whatever possible mm -hmm. and hope for the best. Um, but the thing is, like the oh, lush henna hair dye, the main issue with it is that A, we don't have a lush in Durham, and B, oh. it was so thick. You remember the last time I did it, don't you? I do you, remember the last Francesca time. Francesca was there the last time yeah. I did it. Yeah, actually, I do have some hair dye experience. Yeah. Um, but it was like, it's so thick, and my drain in our mm. shower is so dodgy that it, it wouldn't survive it. So that's a bad idea. So we're not going to do that. Cool. We'll uh, take you through it. <laughs> okay, so this is the um, dye I've chosen. It's the Schwab's Cuff Live um, Cranberry Bliss Colour and Moisture Hair Dye. Um, it's quite a nice colour and it says it's suitable for all like hair textures. So it shows it on different hair textures and colours. And so it says it's going to come out quite a bright colour. But I'm not expecting this because I've never had this level of colour come out of anything I've dyed my hair with. But I did pick one that I wouldn't be too bothered if it accidentally did bleach my hair. <laughs> but I'm really hoping it doesn't. I'm intending... Like, I'm not going to be using any bleach to lift my hair colour to start with, so we're just going to be applying this straight on my dark hair, so we'll see how that goes. I'm putting gloves on because um, we don't really know what this has in it, um, so hopefully these will protect my hands. For your benefit, Francesca, these don't appear to be latex gloves. No, they do not So that appear. is good. Um, we don't really know what these different things contain, so this is the pre-colour serum. Fanula's just going to put this into my hands. Apparently, oh, you have to um, apply this to the ends of your oh, hair. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that. Oh, wow. Ooh, okay, don't put too much in my hands. This is some more. Could you make Are you putting it all in my hands? Yeah. <laughs> Can you just save the rest? Nope. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's not much to be fair. I think you should, like, lather it and yeah. then just spread it, like, Yeah, and then just kind of, yeah. like, put it through. Yeah, so apparently this goes on the ends of my hair. There is no explanation in the packet as to what this does. But I have tested and checked all of the ingredients on Curlsbot, which is, like, the curly-friendly um, hair product checker. And none of it seemed to be too bad. The only thing was that it said it might have some soap in it, as in, like, sulfate-type detergent. Um, so, obviously, like, that's not the best for your hair, but... Um, like given that it's a single use thing and i can deep condition my hair after i'm not massively worried about that um i'm just realizing that the level of tangle in my curls may be an issue with this whole thing so far it smells okay it smells, yeah, it smells really nice lovely. yeah this is good <laughs> <laughs> just for, for those of you at home who can't smell we can confirm smell is what do you think good. it smells of it like when you get your hair done in the salon and then they put lots of Yeah, it smells of apples. You know, like, yeah. well, not, not actual apples, but things that claim they smell like apples or yeah, smell like, like this. Yeah. I think this is weird because this is kind of what I thought, that it was going to vaguely cover your hair, but it wasn't really going to put that much stuff on it. So I've got like a really light covering of this. You just doing the serum. end? Sorry, you might have said that already. Well, but... there is only enough to do that. It said to put it on the end, so. Oh, yeah, right, but you're dyeing your whole hair. But I'm dyeing my whole hair. Right. What? Okay, sorry. Yeah. Someone wasn't paying attention. Okay, right. No, you put this into here. Yeah, so now I'm putting the colour Oh, I've cream. seen this being done before. Yeah, I d so I used to, when I was about 15, dye my hair with a product called Casting Cream Gloss. Um, it was a Garnier product. and um, um, Other brands are available. Yeah, but that was what I chose. <laughs> And Why does it look that colour? Um, when you shake it, it seems to change colour. Oh, this is so exciting! Like I'll show you, like mm. YouTube, when I um squeeze, like sh shake it even, um what it turns out to be. Right, right so we've got the, like colour cream and the developer solution. That's what it called it, wasn't it? So we're just gonna shake that and see what colour this turns to. And why are you sectioning your hair for us today, Karina? Because it's really thick, <laughs> and I think if I um. 
don't section it, I'm not going to get the colour on all of my hair. And the last thing we want is a patchy hair dye job. That isn't what because we Because that want. will really prove why I shouldn't have done this myself. <laughs> And um, given that this was four pound fifty, I was just about to ask food, you how much this cost four you. Four pound fifty, which is why I made the impulsive decision to buy it. I um, mean, that's yeah, that is good. Yes. So let's take the glasses off. We don't want to dye the nice glasses. That is the last thing we want. Um, so I'm going to put them over there, safe. I'm going to put my gloves back on, and then we're going to start applying the hair. Yeah. The thing is, I can't really see. Yeah. Oh, you need to go into. Do you your want roots. to squirt it on my roots, and I'll massage it through mm -hmm. my hair? Okay. Okay, try to do that, but that's definitely gonna need more. That doesn't... Oh my god, that smells so bad. Oh, my god. Okay, do that, do that. I'm scared of chemicals, it doesn't now. We've leveled up. We're on level two of hair. We're actually on level three, I think we just missed a level one. Yeah. We're googling the um, hair dye. Okay. Don't forget these layers back here. Oh, okay, that's a lot. Get that. Right, so Fanil's actually been super helpful with the um, <coughs> positioning of the hair dye. This definitely has ammonia in it between um, Francesca's searches and the amount that we feel like we're choking on it. Um, so this is going to be interesting how this turns out. I think it's going to be a lot more um, intense than any other hair dye I've ever done. Oh, you're grabbing something your own colors. Okay. Oh, no. It's okay. Right, so yeah, we're trying to just, we're basically doing a first layer over everything and trying to get roots and everything in it, but um, given the thickness Ooh, of my hair, hair, okay, um, given the thickness oh. of my I'm hair, I'm sure that's going to happen. We don't want to um, end up with not enough for the top, basically. That's better. I like this hairstyle. <laughs> this is kind of how I used to style my hair, unironically. Okay, give that a go. Oh, that's like a lot. That's so, Karina, can you tell us your method here? So, basically, Fanula is um, attaching it at the roots, um, like putting more by the roots, and then I am combing it through my hair, making sure to kind of get it all along the lengths on both sides and massaging it in at the roots as well. So far, as we're doing it, the, so like there's no obvious colour change. But we're hoping for that to kind of happen in the developing time, which is actually only half an hour. Hi everyone! So I'm just in Karina's room taking a little breather as they continue the, the dirty work. As you can tell, I have contributed little so far. But this video would not be brought to you if it weren't for me filming, so I think I'm a valuable asset to the team. Um, I'm just checking in. It's really like smelly and lovely in here. Um, <laughs> definitely a lot of ammonia going on. So yeah, I would so recommend this experience to do with your friends in a small space if you want to choke yourselves up. Um, I think obviously as you can see, you know, Karina's getting a nice red head. Right. Um, what do you want to do with so, I think we need to start with um, again. Karina, so. can you tell us why you chose um, this colour actually? That's actually interesting. Do you want to know the method of my madness today? Yeah. I walked into Boots because I needed some throat sweets because we've all come down with a sore throat. And um, yesterday we noticed that our friend had dyed her hair and Francesca and I actually had a whole conversation about hair dye and how I'd like to dye my hair again. And I saw the hair dye aisle and I thought, I'll just have a look and so I did and I noticed that this hair dye which looked such a gorgeous reddish slightly purpley colour um was only £4.50 and I just okay, thought you know what for you anyone only live once. wondering about the colour it's called cranberry bliss um and it's it's a reddish plum colour I'd say um it's good for all hair textures. Yeah, um, I mean, I would say that's doubtable. Like, this is definitely not curly girl friendly. I feel like we're learning along the way that this is probably not advisable for any of us to use. Um, but we're going to do it anyway at this point. Because so given that your hair's a dark brown, Karina, it should go <laughs> into <laughs> this yeah, bright yeah. red colour. G given, given that, it might go a lot brighter than we first expected. And this is why I'm glad that I didn't choose the fiery red and that I chose this cranberry colour because 
um i think i'm a lot happier with this sunita's got blood on her hands she she killed. Hand. looks like we've got a guest I'm gonna kill you <laughs> Tony, um, welcome to the vlog. Um, we were actually at a really good stage and we've got pretty much full head coverage at this point. It's looking very red. I've we're, never seen a hairstyle. We're expecting... No, that's such a fair point. We're expecting um, exciting things. Um, Should we just take that yeah. one Okay. You're done. No. Well, no, we need to put more dye in there. Yeah, we've got quite a bit left. So that's we're good. in a really, really good place. Where do you want it here? Who'd you kill, Karina? Are you killing Yeah. Um, I didn't kill anyone other than maybe Fanula's hands. No, the hands are going to be fine. This so, is okay. We're all good. How long are you washing your hands for? <laughs> 20 seconds. Where, where, where is your singing? Happy birthday. Also, clean your singing while we're at it. So, application process done, am I right? Yes, all done. Um, my scalp is slightly itchy. I'm not going to put my glasses on because I don't want to dye them. So now we've got half an hour. What's the time? Um, 22.54. I think we should call it 22.50. We can give or take a bit. We'll probably go downstairs. Maybe we can watch an episode of How to Get Away with Murder. Mm -hmm. And then, which is ironic yeah. considering how I look right now. And then we'll come back and I'll wash it all out and then come down and present the results to you guys. Yeah. Okay, it's time to wash it out so I'll let you know when that's done. Um, but it is looking quite red. <laughs> okay, so this is not dry by any means, but it has definitely had a massive colour change. So I'm going to go down and show my housemates and see what they think. I'll show you in the morning when it's properly dry and you can see it. Okay guys, so this is the finished hair. Um, I'm trying to show you that I feel like this light shows you quite well. Um, it has come up so much redder than any of us expected. Like, <laughs> I was fully expecting this to be a tinge over um, my dark brown hair. You saw the colour of my hair at the start. It's like a black brown colour. Like, it is very dark. So the fact that we've got this level of colour payoff is quite shocking. Um, I feel like my curls are probably going to take a few days to, you know, fully bounce back, but also I haven't had a chance to do like a normal cleanse routine with them quite yet. Um, but yes, I'm <laughs> like, I, I really like it, but I'm quite like shocked because this was not kind of what I was going for but this is the red that I have wanted at so many other times in my life when I've tried to dye my hair and I've never got it and this time I've got it and it's like wow it's quite intense <laughs> and like especially like next to my eyebrows but yeah it's really cool so I'm assuming I'll probably keep this for a few months and then when the roots get out a bit and I have to go on placement here I'll probably just like dye it back my normal colour again but yeah for now this is um, my new hair colour. So thank you for watching guys. I know this is a random video. I don't do that many hair videos. Um, although I am intending to show you my curly girl method routine at some point soon. Um, so if you like this, um, just let me know. And um, if you want to see a different version of me colouring my hair quite a different way with henna, I have that from like a year and a half back on my channel. So yes, see you later guys. Bye.